Have you wondered where the corrugated paper gets its strength from? It's the folds. A half a kg of corrugated paper box can take 1000 kg of load. And we will make a corrugated fan today. First take square pieces of paper 10 cm in length and fold lengthwise 4 times, dividing them into 16 equal parts. Now open and make corrugated folds along these lines, folding them alternately up and down. Now hold it at one end and you will see that it's like a Japanese fan. Insert a toothpick along one of the ends and then open all the corrugations so that you will now see a sort of a rectangular fan. Once you have made this one fan, take three other colored pieces of paper, square pieces 10 cm long and make four such fans. Now take a bottle cap, put some rubber foam inside and then make a small hole in the lid. Insert a small toothpick inside. Make four holes on the side of the cap, four at four diametrically opposite corners. Insert four fans in these blades. You need to keep the fans at an angle so that they tilt down. And now stick a st stiff straw in a small bottle to make a base. Insert this vertical toothpick coming out of the fan inside that straw and the fan is ready to swing. Take it under the fan and enjoy the swing. So corrugations as you've seen increases the strength of the paper many many folds. Just these folds inside the paper make it so strong. Otherwise the paper would just crumble. You can make the corrugated fans from any other cardboard box also. All you have to do is remove one covering of paper from the corrugated paper cardboard and then you can see these corrugations. Now you can make the fans out of this piece of cardboard by cutting this cardboard in rectangular pieces and then sticking the toothpicks under the fan. Try experimenting with various angles at which you keep the fans and see at which angle does the fan spin the fastest. So blow and have fun and if you notice carefully you will actually spot a hyperbola with the tilted fan spinning. Enjoy the corrugated fan.